Hello everybody, Sift here again with an stellar initiative, the 2D roguelike game that I am in love with right now. And today we're going to be playing with Alliance, Captain Difficulty, because I'm not really good with the Alliance. We're going to still play with the Radar, as I don't really enjoy the teleport either. If you enjoy the game in itself and you want to see the teleporter, I will do a teleporter federation build the next time. We're doing this, if the game is not really enjoyed from you guys, then I guess we are not going to play more. So let's go with this, let's actually start seeing how this is going to go, and uh, yeah, let's see the run. So random, gain random out of fact, and lose 25 health, we're going to go with that and we get matter deplacement double the speed of the drill used in mining missions i guess we're gonna chase down mining missions now that's what we got that's what we're gonna go with and uh the class i'm gonna really quickly explain here what we got first of all we got the coil this is a tower i'm gonna set up right away that does damage uh, the charges up damage and then disperses it to close by uh, like retaliation damage to close by buildings like a wall for example and this can line up so this is pretty much the main way of defending with this class you just set up a bunch of these coil towers and then when the opponents touch them they're gonna just start getting damaged that's the main idea here as you see they attack it and they get damaged back uh, and the idea is you just set up a bunch of these i think we're gonna lose the coil tower here although these are helping each other out so when this thing gets hit the other tower is helping out this was a bit unlucky here that we got runners. In general, the idea is you just set up a bunch of these and then... Oh, the third wave is also runners. This is an easy wave, but at the same time, a hard one. Doesn't really matter, honestly, because we got all the quill towers of the world. We can just set up a wall here and that should be giving us... But actually, the wall's not going to arrive in time. I'm just going to wait for a rocket and just send the rocket right here. And this thing is going to hit the quill, lose almost all of its life because you're seeing all of these discharged at the same time. And kaboom, got it. If it hits one more time, it's dead. And now the last opponents that are going to come in are just a bunch of small units that every time they attack, they will get retaliated with electricity. So this used to be the main build, how you do this. You just set up a bunch of coils and you would be winning because the coils were charging, 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 charging. And then whenever somebody attacked them, they would have killed it. But the thing is now they discharge at the same time, all of them, no matter what happens. So they got nerfed like crazy. They made it, uh, the dev made it so that no matter what happens, all the discharges hit the first unit that hits the coils. So you need to be a bit more careful as to how you play this, but you still can just set up the coils. Now the other two towers here are the focus tower. I'm going to explain in a moment actually what the other two towers are. Let's get my coins. Let me explain after we get the artifact. Experimental model. Receive two Stellarium or one Ethereum when you add an artifact. Perfect. Perfect. This I would like to do that. Because it's the first artifact, uh, literally. Ship rockets also deal two damage to all other enemies. That's decent. When focus tower kills an enemy, it stuns everyone around it. Yeah, that's also really good. But we're going to go with the money because it's early game. And that's most likely going to give us a win. We're going to now be chasing down artifacts. So, first of all, we got the coil here. I'm going to call out, tell about the uh, level ups now. Hopefully, there should be a timer in the bottom below where they are correct. Anyway, the coil, as I said, is a retaliationary tower that charges up all the nearby towers with this retaliation effect. And the one upgrade is that it charges up faster. The one upgrade path is that it drops fully charged and with more health and then also drops faster. So the idea is you just drop a bunch of these. And the other idea is that you go with more charge capacity so it can kill tanks better and also it charges even faster. So this is pretty much a charge up and disperse, charge up and disperse. And this is just drop, drop, drop towers all over the place. Uh, once again, there is the upgrade, the first upgrade right away. And then last but not least, it gets AOE. The additional targets, it hits three opponents. Uh, from one, it gets two additional targets. Now, the other thing that I didn't really showcase is the focus tower, which is a charging tower that starts with 0.5 attack speed, attacks per second, but it can get up to 5 attacks per second. It grows by 10% each second or hit, I think, and it just is a boss slayer. And then the upgrade, the one is that it charges faster, and then it either gets more range and it charges even faster and gets more max attack speed, so it's a super boss slayer. Or it goes with more lenses, it hits more opponents, and also it has a minimum attack speed, so it starts at a specific speed. Now, I'm going to most likely go the above wave, because the final keystone passive is that it gets uh, that it does not lose the increased damage if it instantly finds a new target. Yeah, so this is what that does. I think the increased damage, what? What do you mean increased damage? Does not lose increased damage. I think it means attack speed. Anyway, uh, and the final up, final thing that this class got is the magnetic trap here, which is a thing that you set up on the ground, and when the opponents go through it, actually the plasma tower, you set up on the ground, and when the opponent gets through it, it gets it for five damage. This resets every five seconds. First upgrade is that it resets every two seconds. The one upgrade path is that it doesn't have a cooldown, so this is really good for killing small opponents. I think we're going to go with that. And then it also gets poison, so it's even better at killing small opponents. 
And the other choice is that it goes with two blades and then also with 15 damage. So this is pretty much uh, also a slayer build here so that it kills bigger units and not small opponents. As always, it gets uh, stouts upgraded. And at the final upgrade, which is really good, is that it you can place it anywhere you want. So this is obviously a really good thing to have because you can just set up uh, this cryostat trap at the very right side of the build of the map and everybody's gonna be dying right away uh now for the very beginning as always we're gonna begin with a good old wall upgrade and i would even uh, go as far to say we're just gonna spend the resource for this but honestly i don't think we should do that we should just keep the upgrades as they are we don't really need to invest into anything three coins or one coin plus a 50 50 on two coins so that means three coin and or 50 50 on yellow a white obviously we go with this we want to always go for the relics especially when it's three against three or one plus one and a relic so station boost delivery for one second for each point of damage taken I'm gonna take that so that means when I'm building I will be getting and when I'm building and I will get damaged I will be getting the um, what are they called these things are going faster that's pretty much it so once again the AI opponents are just a bunch of shoulder soldiers as long as we're fighting soldiers just set up coils and you should be winning so I'm gonna build up another coil I would say coil coil supply is I think my play so coil number one Coil number two, and then supply, so I get big money. And then I would say wave generator, honestly, but let's actually go with coil, 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 and then wave generator. So coil, coil, I would say three or four coils would be better, best. The more coils I get, the better, obviously. Uh, and of course, having a good old wall at the very right side would be helpful. But do I need a wall on the right side? I don't know, we're gonna see. These guys are all gonna die from the coils anyway. And I would say, let's get a wall. These are runners, so runners are two life units. Let's get a supply going, I would say, forget the wall. Half of them are dying from one thing, half of them are dying from another thing. Yeah, so, and this is just the one that's gonna die instantly. <laughs> Big mistake on your end. And we got the money, so I would say now we build up the laser beam. Uh, tanks are coming in. I think it's not gonna be synchronized well. But I will still be able to get a wall going here. I don't really read anything else. And this is a pretty dangerous wave, but with so many coils, I think we got this laser beam just arrived. And I think the ball's gonna be there in time. So I don't think we need to invest into anything else. Just just supplies here and then just rocket everything down. So the moment this thing touches the wall, it's just gonna explode. Uh, and of course we're gonna level up the wall because that's what you're supposed to do. You see that thing just lost a million life? This thing doesn't even hit inside the wall. Yeah, this is stupid what I did, but it's okay. Uh, I can just align more and more and more coils now in the background as these just literally pierce through everything anyway. So the very, very back coil is still gonna hit the very, very front wall. That's why coils are awesome and that's why they nerf them to the ground, but it's okay. Uh, once again, the nerf is the uh, idea that you can not... That, I, that they all discharge right away, no matter what they hit. And that's a huge nerf, by the way. Uh, because the thing is that if any runner right now bypasses the tanks, then all of the coils... Look at this. Do you see all of these are charged up? You're going to see them all discharge right away. Like, boom, they all discharged. So they are pretty much killed right now. They are no longer what they used to be. Uh, that does not mean they're useless, but it means they're a lot worse. Uh, so that's like the main issue here. Now, of course, the opponents are trying to get through here, but I got my laser beam boy literally hitting nothingness. And yeah, as long as every opponent is hitting a coil, the moment they hit the coil, boom, that thing died, and that thing died too. And my laser beam is gonna get the kill here. Or if not the kill, then the coil would have killed them. And we won very nice, very fast. I'm using the word kill a bit too much. And now I've got the liquid armor, so the thing is we're gonna get a resource here for free. Hopefully a white one. Uh, we got uh, two orange, it's okay. And I'm gonna go with four orange and one white, one white after I beat the final boss. That's pretty much what that was. Upgrade-wise, I would say we go with laser beams and the sword. Uh, I could also go with... Nah, let's go with sword and laser beam is what I would say. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm not gonna level up the quill, of course. So, let's go sword and laser beam, my opinions. And I would like to go on the above line for the sword, but it's uh, white needs white and this also needs white. So we need to now find the white resource, or at least one white resource and maybe an artifact. This is perfect. Self-destruct. Buildings deal area damage when destroyed. That's actually really, really, really good with the coil build. Uh, two and one. I mean, this is one and maybe two, or maybe one and one, which is zero and two, which is even better. So we're definitely going with this. Uh, mining mission. I mean, we're not going to go mining mission. Forget about us in the beginning. Holograms. Enemies move slower. This is either a two and one. I think we're going to go with this, because the coil build definitely benefits from this. So this and this is the same money, and this is the same money. Uh, this is a develop mission, which is pretty dangerous, but I think we got this. Let's go into that. So now I got my new upgrade on... What was the artifact I actually just got? I don't think I have access to artifacts while I'm here. I do have access to artifacts. Nice. Um, station boost delivery time. Yeah, that's pretty useless. 
So right now I don't have artifacts for the game in itself. I would say let's actually set up a bit behind. And uh, we want to make income on this one, so I definitely need to set up generators. This time I'm not going to be playing with supplies, that's pretty dangerous. When you're playing mission, and now I should start playing like a normal mission. So I'm going to go with a double coil start into a wall, into a laser beam. Yeah, and this is like a bunch of tanks coming in, so that's going to be super dangerous. Let's go into a wall. Nice, these are going to survive, of course. And then, oof, yeah, that's pretty dangerous. And uh, let's go money after that. Because we need income for this mission, as this is a developed mission, and without income, you lose these missions. We should be able to survive most of these fights. As I said, runners are okay and weak. Walls can definitely tank those, especially the quills are really good at dealing with small opponents that hit often. They're not good at dealing with tanks, though. So, uh, here in comes just money, 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 money. How much time does this thing take? 20 seconds. Next one's gonna be 20 seconds. I think I want this. Next. And then the wall after that get upgraded. I don't think I have upgrades anyway. 20 coins, definitely not. Ooh, this needs to drop right now. Ooh, the laser beam needs to drop right now. And I think a push generator will also really be helpful here. Because we will most likely lose everything. Uh, pushback generator, I would say, yeah. And this needs to get upgraded after that. Not sure if the pushback generator makes my laser not really shoot. I think it doesn't. I think it's okay. Also do a plasma cutter here in the front line. And uh, actually forget that. We're going with... Ah, no, plasma cutter is good. Yeah, plasma cutter is definitely good. Whoop. Push him back. Laser beam... Yeah, this is actually a really good combo. Laser beam plus pushback. And then the wall, if need be. And then the plasma cutter is coming in. You know what? Let's actually get another wall going. Because we're gonna like lose that one. I would like to level this thing up so it fires a bit faster. I would like to level this thing up so it gets the attacks a bit faster. The drop, the wall and kill there was maybe a mistake. And now we just make money and win the game. Is my opinion here on what we should be doing. Uh, let's make the money happen faster, obviously. Because income is a thing. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we go for money. Money, 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 money and win the game. I think my defense is decently set up here. The opponents might be able to hit the wall, but it's okay. I don't think we should go for faster. I think we're good with just getting what we have. Uh, yeah, we're done after this one. So uh, we are. when that thing's gonna roll, we won. Nice. So now I can just upgrade things, I would say. 42, in 42 seconds, we're winning. Ah, let's make that even faster. In 27 seconds, we're winning. Nice, this actually works. I didn't know this works. So I can go push back generator with laser beam. And then do not allow the opponents to touch the wall. Maybe even... Yeah, I think... Endless waves are coming. Too late, boys. We won. Too late, boys. We won. Self-destruct. So when units die, they explode. Let's see if I'm gonna get to orange or one more white. And I high rolled into right. Nice. Coil has more capacity for each generator. Okay. Uh, so this is literally... Uh, this is insane. This is almost better than the upgrade of the, the upgrades that says you get five more. Enemies take more damage from the charge when hitting the quill directly, so this makes the quills tanking. Give all buildings the ability to block. I'm gonna go with everything can block. I don't want to go into a coil build. I definitely want to go to this, although most likely the thumbnail is gonna be some kind of coil build, because quills are awesome. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to do a coil build right now. I think I want to do a laser beam build, uh, plus swords. Give all buildings ability to block damage is what we're going with. And let's go. And I got two orange. That's very nice. So I can now invest into what I want to. So I would say we should get the immortal walls. That's always a play. Especially with the pushback generators. But we're going this. And then I would also say... Swords, honestly. I don't have the money for that. Three and one. I don't want to go coils, man. I could go this. And then that. No, 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 no. We're not going coils. Forget that. I'm, I'm, I said I'm not gonna. So we're not gonna... I still could go with the generator build, but I think I'm good with one generator and then the laser beam. So I would say we go with the money. Go with money and we keep the two there. I think we're upgrading in a decent pace. I got the shielding, I got the damage on death. We're good, we're good, we're good. So subs... This is instantly yeah, yes, by the way. Reduce supply cost and energy gain. So instead of giving 10 and gaining 25, you give 0 and gain 15. So this is the exact same amount. Right? You still only gain 15 out of this. Unless you can somehow make them cost cheaper. Yeah, okay, whatever. I don't really care about supplies, though. 5, no. Uh, defense, 2, no. We want uh, want something. Increase ship rocket damage outside of signal range from 20 to 40. 
and one blue. Uh, so it's either this, honestly, or this. I mean, the idea with this is that you always have something going on. You still only gain 15 coins out of this play. You don't lose anything from this. You also don't gain anything from that. This at least does something. Yeah, I think I would like to go with a laser guide. Of course, I could also go with mining. Five orange and one white is really good. I think I should go with mining now that I'm thinking about this. Because at the end of the day, I'm trying to get money. And this is at most going to give us zero and two. Uh, or two and one. Plus a decent thing. This is definitely going to give us five and one because I can easily do this. Let's go with the five and one on the mining mission. Let's not forget that setting up quills and exploding them is going to give us power. Oh, this is a decent mining mission. I would say we go with the... Uh, Oil here and a wall in front of it, and then laser beam, and then and then mining drill. Okay, I have an idea here. So uh, I I would like to go with supplies play. Points are coming in. Yeah, this is just a small amount of opponents. Five, three, and two life. We got this. I go with a double quill play plus a wall, of course, and then from there we're gonna go on. Double quill play with wall, and then we're gonna go supply supply. I'm not gonna build. I'm not gonna build plasma towers this turn. This time. Please don't kill this quill. These are runners. They should die right away. No. Yes. Perfect. Supply. Laser beam after that. And then we're pretty much done with them build the drills. And that's a laser beam and pushback tower, actually. Just to be clear. Supply. Laser beam now joins. These should die here. Drill is next. Good thing we have the double drill speed, by the way. Right? Because without that, that would not be good. That, that would straight up not be happening. And then pushback tower comes next. So we go here. Laser beam go in. Done. Okay, that thing died mostly from the quills. Now we go pushback generator. And now we go mining drill. And after that we go a wall here in the front. And when that happens we're gonna get the final uh, mining drill in the front line there. This needs to get upgraded by the way. Yeah, that's not gonna die in time. Oh, 15 coins is okay. Mining drill is here. Go, I'm spamming. Nice, got it. So that's not gonna die in any time soon. And then I'm gonna get one final drill there and we're done. And then I just need to set up a good defense because the mining drills, as you see, are immune. So I'm now going for another one of these. It's okay, that's not gonna die in time. And this guy's not gonna kill that in time. Yeah, the laser beam is... That, that's a really good combo here with the wave generators. This is maybe the first time I'm playing with wave generators, by the way. Let's go with the mining drill, and this shield is not needed, honestly. And I'm gonna just upgrade this and this, and we're done. So I'm just gonna be spamming a couple of supplies here until the end of time. This is the final wave anyway. Uh, this is three left. This is one left. It's already 16%, 20%. Yeah, this goes very fast. The way I'm seeing this, so we're good to go. I will may mostly invest into upgrading here instead of anything else. This tower is gonna also be a delay tower anyway. So, uh, please survive. Please survive. No! Ah, I got this thing done anyway. So now we're gonna go with we'll upgrade this. It's gonna get more attack speed. Which means we're gonna be good. I would like to put some swords down. Why not? There is no reason to do anything anyway here. Ah, those towers are healing, so... So the quills are killing the small fry that hits them. While the laser beam kills the big fry. Come on, push tower. Nice. I want to upgrade this now, so we can get more damage out of that. I mean, it gets a attack speed madness increase, and yeah, that, that slide back and death. We won. And we got the 5 plus 1. So this was guaranteed worth it. 5 plus 1 is really good for us. Didn't get the relic. It's okay. Maybe we're gonna get a free relic out of the mission, giving us relic at the end. I don't know. Install upgrades for random building up to level 3, or gain random. We're gonna go with gain a random artifact, because this might kill one of my buildings, so I don't want to get this. Let's go here. And we got buildings restore full health when upgraded. Perfect. That's gonna make the towers a lot more powerful. Uh, and I have 7 and 2. So we either go for Cryostat, which is going to make my swords kill all the small opponents, and then I only have to deal with big opponents, or we can go with the laser and... No, no, we, I would say both of them. Let's get the laser have more upgrades, and let's get the Cryostat. Of course, I could also go with discount on the upgrading of that, so we can get income going. Which honestly, I want this. So let's get this cheaper, because this is money, and money is broken in this game. And then I would say let's go with... Are we in the boss stage? If I'm in the boss stage, I would like to look at the blazer beam. Okay, we're not in the boss stage. Let's see what we're gonna get. One and two, that's insane. One and two defense, those dangerous. Develop uh, one and one and most likely three and one or one and three defense module. When you upgrade a focus tower, 
Place it when you upgrade the focus tower, place a wall to the right of it once permission. Okay, we go with this, definitely. Because we're a focus tower build. So I'm gonna drop a focus tower first thing, most likely. When you upgrade focus tower, place a wall to the right of it once permission. I like this. We're going with uh, either three and one or one and two. Plus a decent thing. So I'm gonna now upgrade. I already upgraded this. I would say we upgrade the cutter. Because I think getting the cutter to kill all the small opponents is better than getting the laser beam to have a bit more range. So let's do that. We're going with a cutter here. So we have the permanent cutter now. And that obviously needs an upgrade. It's not free. I'm going with this. Development is just get money. And we just got increased my income anyway. This is going very well. We got a very good run going. So we're going to begin with a basic start with a coil here, as I said. I would say we begin coil wall this time. Coil wall is the play. And then laser beam, laser beam. Actually, laser beam pushback, of course. Although double coil is definitely the play in general. Because it protects us from small opponents. But I'm no longer in any fear from small opponents. So, uh, yeah, because I'm going to go with a plasma cutter in front of it. So let's just not waste income anywhere. We got that going. Boom, done. So I have my early game defense going. Uh, explosive is coming in. This has four health. 3D damage. Okay. These are a lot of opponents coming in, by the way. Uh, I would like to get more money. I'm thinking we get supplies to just roll into a focus tower right away. I think that's the main thing I should be doing all the time. Just skip into a focus tower. Into a pushback tower. Level up the wall. The wall definitely is leveling up, by the way. Okay, we got the laser beam now. Uh, do I want the laser beam, though? Or do I want the second one of these, as I said previously? No, no, we're going with the laser beam. Change of plans has happened. This needs to upgrade. Uh, this is coming in 50 seconds. 50 seconds is very far away. Where is this happening already? Current wave, it says. Oh, no. Explosion's gonna happen. We're about to lose everything. <laughs> I can feel it. I need to get the wave generator here. Okay. Uh, obviously, what I need to really get uh, is... This should go here. No, this should go here so that the wave generator has time to actually push him back. I want this to get upgraded so we don't lose it from the explosion. Although the explosion only does 3 damage anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, 3D damage is not the end of the world. The issue here is obviously that this thing is not going to be able to upgrade in time. I'm waiting for this. Boop, dead. Wait, that explosion didn't happen? Oh, it died before it exploded. Okay. Look at that thing. That was a mistake. Yeah, that was actually a mistake. But we're still somehow alive. If I lose this wall, we die. Nice, we survived. And we now win. This is over. Now I just need to make money. Now I just need to make money. I don't need to be in any afraid anymore. Just just drop money here. Just drop income. More and more waves will be coming, but it doesn't matter. You go here, and there we go. Wave generator. Because that's gonna delay the opponents enough for us to win. We're gonna start leveling up these things for 10 per pop. Very nice. Actually, let's make the drops faster now. Now let's upgrade. Very nice. Wave generator is coming in. This needs to get upgraded next. It has zero cooldown and everything dies instantly. Come on. Nope, that is not good right now. Whoop. Push him back into the laser and instant death. Okay. Now I want the second one of these. So whatever pushes through instantly dies. Nice. Oh, I need the second wall, by the way. Nice. Everything died over there. No, oh, that's not... Push, 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 push. Nice, got him there. Okay, so we're done. The mission's done. The opponents can no longer do anything. And I just need money. I will be spamming supplies while I'm upgrading things. These are instant permanent shields. Yeah, we're done. We're done. It's over. So this uh, has a cooldown of 64 seconds. We just get the money. 180 is okay. We can maintain this easily. Yeah, just go money, money, money. 180. This needs an upgrade of 40. Let's actually speed it up from now. We don't need to wait for that. 180 is almost done here. And these guys are not even going to be able to get through these because these do 5 damage instantly. Da 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 Dead. <laughs> you don't need that. And we have a double wall of immortality here. These are all upgraded. Yeah, it's over. The small opponents can never get through. Small opponents can never ever get through these. I mean, these guys with shield scan, so I guess we should have a triple shield uh, setup. Yeah, but these guys can definitely not. And these guys with four life can definitely not. Runners with a shield. Yep, all gone. All gone. And these are soldiers with shields. That's why they survive, because they have eight health and these do five damage. 
easy enough. And now my first upgrade focus tower is gonna get a free wall as a gift. That's very nice and also very helpful. And we also get another artifact, so we're even more. Gain three and one, that's decent. Reduce focus tower reload duration. Oh yes, because focus tower is what we're using. Stunned enemies take more than... Now we're going with this. Focus tower, perfect. Perfect. Five and two there, very nice. So I think now is the boss stage. Yes, so we definitely upgrade the focus tower right now because that's the boss layer. So uh, where's the focus tower? It's here. So we're going to go with it gets more range. And we're going to go with it also... Ah, I would have liked to upgrade that, but it's okay. Poison on that, not possible. This thing, not possible. These are all expensive. Let's go for the boss stage. And let's see what we're going to get. Hopefully we're going to get the matter generator, which we know is the most broken thing in the universe. And uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Uh, I could... What's that? Uh, now I would say let's just begin with the classic build. So coil into wall is what I would say. I think safety is the play. And then just double laser beams and then just set up, set up, set up, set up. So I'm going to front line. I would say don't even start with focus star, honestly. Oh, that was a mistake here as to how I set these up. It's okay. I'm I'm losing a bit of time on when we start with the building. And that takes more and more time, of course. Yeah, we're gonna be okay. Set up generators. By the way, if you have the upgrade that says generator upgrading cost 10 coins, never set up a second generator. Just straight up upgrade the one that drops. Because it's just gonna give you the same amount of money. I mean, look at this. This gives you how much? Uh, every, three every 10 seconds. For 10 after 20 seconds. This upgrade is the same thing. It gives you three every 10 seconds for 10 seconds. For, uh, for an instant upgrade, actually. That's definitely worth it. Let's drop the next one. Yep, that's gonna die there. Very nice. Here I would say we set up this thing. Uh, actually, I think we should level up the wall. Let's get the supply rolling. Now that I'm thinking about the supply costing zero is really good because you get these dead times that you're actually getting rid of. Level this thing up, obviously. Let's level this thing up now. Actually, I would like this to be here, I would say. So that it gets the free wall. This, needs to definitely, this is a bomber. Oh, this is, that's a bad unit against us. You go here. We have the money to upgrade that. So uh, let's upgrade it. Actually, we can wait a little bit. Because this thing fully heals on level up. Ah, uh, wait. Level that thing up. That thing's... Where's the free wall? The free wall never appeared. Oh, it's here. Oh! Oh! That's actually really good. This is really good and well designed. Nice. Nice. I'm super happy about how they made this. Let's go with the... Sword here, I would say. And one here. I need more generators because money's gonna be needed guaranteed. I think four money is good. And that thing's gonna die. Nice. We can also make money here, I would say. Although I would prefer having another sword, honestly. Start leveling up the sword slowly. Ah, walls. Ah, whatever. That's not gonna survive. I definitely need this to level up. Nice, it leveled up. I definitely would like to go with... I mean, I'm using these, so I should be leveling them up, to be honest. Yeah, let's level these things up. Yeah, the laser beam's actually working out. I need to level at least one of them up. Because I want to be... Let's actually get supplies rolling, by the way. There is no reason not to. Oh no, that thing is trying to hit my walls. Whatever shall I do? Stupid thing. Uh, let's go here and set up another laser wall and whatnot. Yeah, like this. And then like here. Let's go here. Let's go here. I think we're making enough money. This is the backline wall. Uh, we're still not in the final wave. We're good. It's gonna give us more room. Here we go. You go here. Laser beam. Laser beam. This is for the boss lane, by the way. Okay, this is gonna explode. Uh, I would like to have enough money to make these immortal. Let's actually make this immortal. Yeah, because that was a mistake there. Yep, now we have immortal wall. It doesn't matter that it died. It's okay that this also died. We didn't lose anything. We literally lost nothing on that. Go here. This is gonna die. This is a loss. Where is this dropping? I don't want that to drop, actually. Let's get some swords going. So I can have lasers in good spots. This laser is good to get. Uh, yep, that killed everything. Nice. You see? Slow and steady wins the race. These are not gonna get through. I mean, they got through. It's okay. But still, they didn't really get through. 
laser beam dropping. Nice, another laser beam here. Here. Most likely the next one too. Here. Do I have enough money here? I don't think I have enough money for dropping things faster. Just make an immune wall, that's the thing. Just make damage immune walls, death immune walls, that's damage immune, death immune. And here's the boss. Let's get some laser beams going through. This is gonna instantly kill me, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're gonna lose everything here. It's okay. At least this is not gonna die. <laughs> Instant death. Uh, can I get the swords going, please? Yeah, I think the permanent swords are literally permanent. I don't think the boss is gonna be doing anything against them. Yeah, I definitely need these because a bunch of small opponents are appearing. Like, that's my main issue here. A bunch of small opponents are appearing. Nice, we cut through all of them. Nice, okay, no more longer small opponents appearing. And look at the laser beam doing job. Look at the laser beam doing its job. I don't need this plasma cutter anymore. We have enough plasma cutters throughout this game. I don't need the walls anymore either, because we have enough everything through this game. Yeah, this is dying from only one laser beam, by the way. A single laser beam is killing all of them. A single laser beam is killing the boss. That's how busted these are. And I got a second one. The boss is dying. Pretty fast. The boss is dead. The boss is toast. Easy. Oh, I lost one. Look at all the opponents just melting over there. And we won. Easy enough. Okay, so now imagine having the plasma cutters from the start of the game over there on the right side instead of having them back here. Let's see what we get. Please give me a matter. We got the matter generator. Laser cannon. Deals damage to enemies in the front. Death ray. Deals damage to one target enemy increasing over time. Requires damage to stay. Now we're gonna go with matter generator. If you want to see any of the other ones, come down below. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And if this game takes off, I will be playing more of this because I love it. And I don't want to always play matter generator. But right now I do want to play matter generator because I'm playing with pretty much all the things. I'm using everything other than the Tesla coils. So I want that. Solarium received four. Ethereum received one. Six and two is what we have. Upgrade time. Obviously, we instantly upgrade the matter generator because this is going to build us up. Two orange ones here. And then we're going to also go with a one and one. So they cost, they can upgrade them even further. And then six and zero, we don't have that. But we can have three and one. That's not enough for any of the main upgrades we care about. You know what? Let's upgrade the generator as I'm using this, right? Uh, this is, makes the stun, them stun, stun the opponents against, they become shield Max enemies to push. No, this doesn't push anymore. Unlocks upgrading the shield generator that generates shields for buildings in range instead of pushing the enemies. Shield blocks all damage once. This just builds shielding. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to spend on any of these because we know for a fact that the final upgrade on this is everything costs half. So we're going with that. Let's get an easy mission here if possible. Scouting is easy. Increased radiation damage. I'm not really using radiation damage. Start with fellas energy is not really that bad. This is very dangerous. Defense is not a good build. Station research is good. Station generates less energy, less. It's okay. We're not playing with that much. Research is good. Uh, signal amplifier. Increase maximum starting build distance. Oh, this is also really good. Building starts with 70% health. I want development. I want this. This is easy. Two in one and a relic. Two in one area relic is the best. This is obviously also good. Mining is good for us. But now we're going to go with two in one and a relic. So we're gonna, it's pretty much 4 and 1, or 2 and 2, and then we're also going to get a million from building things on the ground, and having 70% health is not the end of the world, especially with shielding, um, this is regen, okay, especially not with walls that heal, which are the walls we're playing. So let's begin the run here, obviously we're going to begin with a classic base, a quail wall into uh, economy build here, I think that is the safest, I should really stop dropping them like this. But it's okay. Make the opponents do whatever. I should maybe start with supplies right away if I'm gonna drop in like this. But then the supplies are not gonna arrive in time. We're gonna lose here. Oh, oh we lost the quill. That's pretty bad. That was not a good placement. That was pretty bad. Oof, 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 oof. That was really, really bad. I need economy. Maybe I should have left these go through, by the way. I made it all worse. I need to get a laser beam boy right now because this is a regen and regen is not gonna die. I need to get some... Whoa, we're, we're, it's, it's going sideways. It's going sideways very fast. Now I need this to get enough money to actually heal. Yeah, this gets big hits in, but... Supply get forced. Uh, laser beam. And this is going to take a bunch of damage, but that's okay. Laser beam is going to come in clutch. Clutch, not clutch for sure. It's going to just come in. 
Uh, I'm thinking about dropping a bomb on those boys. But no, we're gonna go generator now and we're gonna be good to go. Yeah, we got my setup going. Stephanie needs to get the increase in attack speed, of course. Uh, yeah, my setup's here. So now we're gonna stop taking that much damage. Instant death on those. I'm gonna go sword here now. And then economy. And then economy, economy, economy. And then we start building those generators in the back. So economy should be forward, by the way. Because these are gonna go in the back anyway. This needs to become a permanent because I will have issues with small opponents. This needs to become the permanent shield. And this needs to also become the permanent thing. Uh, this Yeah, this needs to get the healing going. No, I, I, I need to make sure that this is not gonna die. Okay, that's revived. Let's go money now. Actually, now I can definitely go for money for a, a small time. Needs to become a faster one at least. Uh, actually, this should just get upgraded when it needs to. I should make sure that this becomes a faster one when I... Uh, like, five runners. Yeah, that's when it should become one. That's definitely when this should become a decent one. Uh, I would like this to go here because I need some kind of a room back there for these guys. First one should be set up as early as possible. As I am already getting enough economy here for us to not care about this. Let's make this a laser beam so runners are not gonna get through again. And this definitely needs healing. Or, you know, become immortal would also be a choice. Let's make that immortal, very nice. Okay, laser beam is doing its job. Swords should now also be doing its job. Runner, oh no, oh no! Push the runners back, please. Nice. No. Ah, oh, the sword's gonna still drop. I need to drop the rocket right here. Oh, the pushback mechanic is insane. We're oh, this is insane! I didn't realize this ever. Why, why isn't it using that thing? This pushes opponents back into the walls. That's insane, man. That's busted. We're going for this for sure, obviously. And now I'm building a new thing. What's my thing? Yeah, now I'm uh, now I'm just building money forward, I would say. And then slowly backtracking on what we're gaining there. I would say we just build one of these and then just drop a bunch of money all over the place. I think that's the play. Definitely make these faster. Like, my idea right now is I just drop a coil in the very front. Yeah, like that. Uh, this should get upgraded. And now I can just build money, money, money. Uh, like maybe another coil here and then we go with like money 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 and then uh the back like the back set here is not gonna become money anymore it's gonna now become these guys and because money by the way is immune so there is no reason to actually you know invest into having money in specific areas this money isn't even needed anymore so i'm gonna go here yeah, you can kill the quills, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just gonna set up a bunch of shielding and whatnot. Yeah, like, uh, here I guess. It doesn't matter if they kill anything, it really doesn't. I mean, the, the, the run is an income run anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you do. We have immortal walls. Oh, nice, we now will make some income out of that. Laser beams are happening. These guys can just go wherever. Yeah, we, we just need 240 anyway. Slow this thing up. Sword and sword. Bunch of swords. Boss is trying its best. Boss is not gonna survive. Make the laser beam better. And now it would be a nice time to get a wall here. You know, instead of this money. Upgrade that money. I still am making income. This gets upgraded. That thing's trying its best. It's not really succeeding at anything. I know I need to win. Uh, the moment the infinite wave starts, these things stop producing. And the moment they stop producing, I just try to win. We're trying to make as much product as possible here. Infinite wave is going to happen in a moment. It's just, just going to say infinite wave, and then these are going to just freeze. And when that happens, I just win the game. Drop another one, I guess. Oh, this is white nice. And it just happened. Dang it. So we just lost the white here. But it's okay. I'm just gonna wait for 240 now. And we win. Yeah, it's gonna just... In 50 seconds we're winning. Uh, by the way, let's definitely do supply. Doesn't matter that it looks super dangerous. In 50 seconds we're winning. 
these are not gonna eat through everything in time. And it also doesn't matter how many of these smaller points appear, they all die in the laser beams. What is this? Carrier. Spawn small enemy, stronger version of carrier. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Get pushed back, get back in the laser line. Get pushed back in the laser line, boys! Easy enough. And now I became a lot more powerful. A lot more powerful. I just become borderline broken. 13 orange, 2 white. And a thing that makes my maximum building distance better, which is gonna make my starting build better or more efficient. Super position. When you upgrade the station, another random building is upgraded for free. That's really good. Double the chance of receiving uncommon rare artifacts. That's also decent. Laser applies radiation. Laser is the laser me. I'm not really using it. I think I have four more things to go through. I would like to get more uncommons. This is free upgrades. Free upgrades is good because it's going to give us a wall or something. And I can force this. I think this is good. This is like my 20 coins become another 20 coins for free. This is... Late game hoping. No, we're going with this. We're going with get free upgrades. In the grand scheme of things, that's going to be important, but in general, it's going to be important. So now we're going to go with six and zero. And now the winning upgrade, six and two, and everything costs half. And just like that, we are super rich. Now I'm going to go with, we start with this pre upgraded. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we're going to go with the laser beam. Is a three and one? Yeah, the laser beam just can become even crazier, is the one choice. Or the wall can become even crazier. We're gonna go with the wall can become crazier. As the wall are a free win upgrade. Or infinite levels on the money making. Or, or you know, just level up the wind generator, which I'm using like every single second. I would say let's go with the wind generator at least one level on this thing. Six second cooldown, four second cooldown. Uh, the sword maybe? The sword is also something I'm using, but I think the play is the laser man. Or this thing. Let's make this thing. This is going to be the final fight where I'm using these anyway. So let's make them literally cost enough, uh, come pre upgraded so they make more income faster. And then we're done. Like, this is. Uh, we are four away from the final boss, and this is the final dangerous mission we're going to play. Building upgrade costs five more. That's dangerous. Well, plasma. Reduce plasma tower delivery duration. Plasma tower is the um, laser beam generator, and supplies cost three more energy. That's okay. Research is just go close to the anomaly. Now tubes increase wall huh? next to each other. No, who cares? Yeah, we're going with this. This is the final mission we're gonna do. So uh, this is a guaranteed win. Let's go. And this is also a very good um, thing. Anyway, this is a very good upgrade for us. So uh, not the final mission. This is the final mission where it's gonna be dangerous for us. 15 coins on the money. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just do a classic start of coil into wall. Yeah, let's go coil into wall. Of wall, look where we can start. I would say we build here. This, by the way, is no. I would say we build here. Actually, let's just build here. Safe. Safety. Let's go here. I feel better being a little bit in the middle and not on the very right side. It feels a bit safer to me. Maybe one of these is gonna get through in the first place. Yeah, one of them is gonna get through. It's a runner. Yeah, it's gonna get through for sure. It, it gets through. <laughs> Almost got through. Okay, we lost a bit of life. It's okay. Money time. Money or supplies? I would say income. And definitely not back there. I would say income here. And then the push generator goes here. Yeah, push, uh, laser, push, and then money, 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 money. Actually, money in the front. On Ah, no, laser beams are going to be here. So I would say money goes here, walls goes here. Laser beam. Ah, for now, let's go with this one right here. I think this is safe enough. Trying to play as safe as possible while also not overdoing it. Regen, guys. Okay, that means we need to set up the focus tower a bit faster. Give me five coins, please. Oh, supplies gonna be for light. I would like to get supplies, honestly. So we skip a little bit of building. Now yeah, we got this. Supplies are gonna carry us. Boom. We're gonna go here now. Next is push tower. Yes. Next is upgrade. Yeah, we're not gonna lose anything. I got it. Laser beams here. Now we're gonna go upgrade money instead of building money. Whoop. Push towers here. Next is gonna be plasma tower. And then we're done. It's coming in. A tank's coming in. You know what? We're not done yet. Let's go plasma tower here as always. 
Uh, let's level this thing up so we got a second tower going. Actually, the second tower come, should come a bit later. There's no, no second tower is a good chance now. Level that thing up. Get my uh, money. Yeah, it's, it's a good spot here. Level this thing up so it doesn't die. And it's over, we won. How much time do I have? 270 something. I don't want to build forward anymore, by the way. Nothing at all. We want to keep everything as is. Let's get let's get a couple of those laser beams now. So we're safe. Let's make this immune so I'm no longer in danger. Income increase. Even more income increase. And now just build these. We're done. We're done. Make sure we're not gonna forget upgrading things. Ah, let's let's get these for sure. Let's get the immunity. Okay, we're done. Okay, now we upgrade the things. Now now we get these going. Now we make big money. Backline one. I don't have infinite time, honestly. Backline two. Level this boy up, please. Yep, that was one of the good upgrades. With the coiner there. This is not that expensive. Now I'm gonna go to this one. Ah, uh, 30, nice. Need to make sure I'm, I'm getting rid of all the cheap upgrades, by the way. 25ers. 25 ers needs to go. Here. Uh, one more money loss is okay. I can drop it here anyway. Ooh, white one, you go up for sure. But these are maxed out. Oh, these come pre upgraded. Whoopsie. <laughs> okay. Bring me income. Let's upgrade something random. Whoop. Wave generator. It is what it is. And now I just make money. 65 seconds to win. Fair enough. That thing is immune to everything. It's okay. These can. Oh, these cannot be upgraded further. Well, I can't do anything. We're just waiting to win anyway. So, yeah, we're just waiting. And I'm making as much money as I can. 25 until we win. Uh, I think only these two are gonna make money. These two are not fast enough because they take 30 seconds to actually do the thing. So we win in 7 and these two are... Yeah, that ticked and this gonna tick and that's it. And we won. Nice. How much did we get? 17 and 2. I think we're pretty much done now. Delivery duration is 10 seconds on the laser beams on the ground. Nice. I didn't do enough white, but it's okay. Two white is okay. Let's upgrade. So now I would say I want my laser beam. Ah, oh, this needs two. I want my laser thing. One. Okay, I would say we take these two for sure. So I can have global laser beams and just set them up the moment the fight starts. I think that's the play. Global laser beams the moment the fight starts. Or infinite uh, region and they start pre-upgraded that's a lot of money delivery duration is even less that's also really good i'm between infinite laser range but i don't need infinite range i think pre-upgraded pre-upgraded money is the play so that we make money faster let's do pre-upgraded money that's pretty much value value for time and investment okay now obviously we are missing uh, we have infinite orange we're going here the bottom path, not the top path. Here we don't have anything. Oh, this is not orange. This is green, also not orange. No. Yeah, this is an upgrade we're gonna get for free. Why not? Only orange. Nah. Not worth it. Okay, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Let's just say health plus six and starting charge. I think that's a play. I mean, I'm not using them, but might as well go with the passive that makes them for free. And then also another passive. Yeah, let's go with the two passives. And let's go on. Still getting everything going. Still everything's nice. Uh, start with five more energy, it says. So start with five more energy is insane for us. Two and one. Start with five less for this specific one. Develop mission, very easy. Six and two, not definitely. D D direct the plasma channels, legendary. Coil generates energy at max charge. What? This is insane. So if you just have a bunch of coils and they don't fire, they start generating energy. Energy per charge. This is insanely insane. Ooh, that's a completely different build. 
But I don't want to go for this. I want to go for this because this is going to give us a free win. I mean, we're already at a free win rate anyway. Um, Quilch cool, generate energy at max charge. I think this is the actual play, man. Because they start at max charge. So, building skills with less health, who cares? Scouting mission, who cares? Let's go. Let's go. We got something good for the coils. So now I can just spend, send coils into wherever land. So obviously we begin with a quill, I would say, here. Begin the run. And these start pre-upgraded, so that's money. Make the walls start pre-upgraded. These also start pre-upgraded. I still want these, by the way. Drop coil, drop wall. This is not gonna end well here for us. At least they survive a bit more. Oh, this actually did end well for us. Well, that was pretty rare. And it should go here, I would say, right? So it's like, uh, I would say here. Ah, the quill survived. Nice. It's the wave tanks. Okay, laser beams coming in then. Go to supply. So we can start making money. Yes, whatever. Go, nice. Laser beam is coming in. After that wave pushback. Throw this out actually. Speed up. We got an upgrade on what? On the coil? Unbelievable. Let's go laser beam. Nah, that should be a win anyway. Let's go here. Yeah, that thing got it. And now we go with... This gets upgraded. So let's get a wall. Level up the other wall. Get my swords going. You know, you know. The classic case. You go here. This needs upgrading instead of dying. Yeah, no, that did nothing, actually. Let's get the sword. Push it. Hit it. And we're just waiting here for a moment. For a year. And I'll upgrade the, these two so they don't die randomly. Actually, I don't need to. Just drop money. I would say we're here. We are in no rush on having things on the right side. What's coming in? A bombardier. Doesn't matter. Level this thing up. Levels up again. We got the infinite sword. Easy enough. Get money dropping. Get more money dropping. Let's get a double infinite sword. Triple infinite sword, to be honest. If possible. Ah, we're gonna lose money out of that. It's okay. This is also not perfectly placed. It's okay. It's more important to actually have the buildings, you know. And now we just win. Now we just... It's over, actually. We don't have the super shields. We have the mega laser, though, which I'm definitely gonna play. Hold this up, please. Eh, or maybe not. Get this pushing back a bit faster. Have those small guys just all died at the same time. And I'll set these up and we're done. Yeah, we have enough time. Go. As long as nothing is happening. Come on. Ah, I'm not gonna do that. Set up another one. So this thing for 18, this thing for 14, this thing also for 14. So this is obviously, uh, this is as if it's like three buildings right now. You go here, it's a white one, definitely upgrade this thing. Bring them faster, please. Okay, I hope that I'm not gonna need more of them, man. I hope I'm not gonna need to set up more banana, uh, these monkeys or whatever they're called. Matter generator. Man, look how much time we have here for building things up. The game's like, yeah, you can do what you want. Or oh, five of these. And this is the final wave coming in. And then the run is over. I don't think this final wave has any chance whatsoever, by the way. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm just gonna just drop a wall here at the very end, right side. Yeah, it's... Yeah, these things are just gonna run through and die. It's they, they actually do not have any chance whatsoever. The laser beam is getting the kill on the boss. And the boss getting pushed back into the walls again. Even though the push generator doesn't do anything, it doesn't matter, this thing is dying. I could have had a second laser beam, by the way, but it doesn't matter either. These all are all gonna die. I'm trying to slow play this. And we got infinite orange. I would like to get white. Game, please. Speeding up the game. Maybe white? 
Maybe white. Nice, I got one white. And another white, but it's not gonna get gained. Ah, I had two whites there. Three whites, actually. Six whites are enough. And I got the quill generates energy at max charge. Nice. And they started max charge. Choose effect, supercharger. Satan generates more energy when you have at least 15 energy. That's actually really good. Plasma towers reduce upgrade cost for each enemy it kills by one. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's actually really good. Enemies breaking the shield is stunned and takes damage. I'm not playing with shields. So these two are the play. I gain four more energy if I have at least 15. I very often have 15. This is good. Plasma tower reducing cost is also good because I'm going to go with the poison towers. So I'm going to have the laser beam towers that are going to kill a bunch. But the thing is, I have three of them. So it's, it's a lot of money, but I think there's more money. Let's go with more money. I might be wrong about this because that's common and the other one is not. But whatever. Now we have seven whites. So uh, first and form... Why does this do? Work speed buff by 200%. Significantly increase effectiveness of the building next to the vision. Insane. Uh, first thing we go with the global top. Uh, no, no. First thing we go with the super lasers. So laser and laser is upgraded. Those two come first. And then when laser switch targets. No, no, no. Then we go with tower is upgraded. And tower comes pre-upgraded. Okay, now I'm going to think about this. This is cheap. We just buy this straight up. No thought about that. So now my towers can block and are smaller in width. These don't matter to me. Delivery duration is faster. No, this does matter to me. I want this to just arrive at the start of the game right away. Addition targets irrelevant. Being able to retarget is irrelevant. Actually, this is good. This arrives faster is really good. That's money. Or I can just say... Or I can just say global lasers. I don't need global lasers, though. Them coming pre-upgraded is good. Uh, I think faster money is still the play. I'm playing a lot with money. I'm playing a lot with money. I do believe money is the play in general in this game. And let's go into the next one. Zero whites. Okay, I continue needing to build those generators, man. Hidden core. Increase health of all non-will buildings. Uh, I don't really care about mining missions once again. Building upgrades cost five more. Development mission. Easy enough. Replication. Decrease delivery time of generators even more. This is a defense mission, which is small. Better words. Prepare to set up defense early. Harder mission. Defend in a quick mission. I don't want quick missions. I want slow missions. Signal range is reduced. This is okay. Enemies have more health. You know what? I would like to go with a 7 and 2 here. Other mission, but other rewards. Another development mission. Building upgrades cost 5 more. Enemies have more health. I would say let's go with mining. I think mining is easy to do. I also have the faster mining thing. 7 and 2. Although, I'm gonna get the 2 I care about. I don't care about the... Yeah, let's go with development here. Upgrading might cost more, but it's not really that bad. Research is... Signal range, harder mission, but rewards hidden. Yeah, let's go with this, actually. That at least gives us something. This, the two whites are very important, but I think we're gonna still get it. I would prefer the easier quest right now. For the easiest quest, it also gives us a relic anyway, so it's gonna be money. So, uh, we begin with this thing right away. Here. But now we do get money out of this, because it's gonna drop very fast. It's gonna start fully charged anyway gonna make us money let's see how fast it's gonna make us money is my question uh instant wall in front of it don't even think about it it starts charged what it seemed pretty fast to me this seemed pretty fast to me let's get a second one going actually no let's not do that and uh, let's get the money rolling uh right here i would say and yeah, we're gonna get a second wall in front of it anyway Uh, we're okay, we're okay, we're safe. Laser beam comes next. Actually, supply comes next. Now nah, supply doesn't come next. Uh, let's get another coil. I think the money we make through the coils might be crazy. Upgrade the coil. Two coins. Two, 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 two. Yeah, they make money fast. Make money pretty fast. That's actually insane. We have generator after that. Yeah, now they don't make money anymore, though. Okay, so it's pretty busted, but also at the same time, not. Let's get the immunity shieldies, which I can now upgrade, actually. Laser beams here, which comes pre-upgraded, but when I upgrade it, I'm gonna get a wall. Make this a cheap upgrade. 
upgrade these things a couple of times because I'm about to upgrade my uh, main building. Is what I'm thinking. And now we're gonna do this. And upgrade one of those, nice. 50 coins for that one, which isn't really that cheap. Let's get the super wall that heals like crazy. And now we won. Let's get the range on that. Let's get some uh, laser beams going, laser walls, whatever. This is an explore, 500 seconds, that's a lot. Uh, actually, this is cancel that. We need more extended range or whatever. Let's get upgraded, nice and nice. I want money here in the back. No, not in the back. Let's go wall in the front. This wall's useless though. Let's go laser beam in the front. That's not possible. Let's go wall in the front. I'm a bit off with what I'm doing. We have a lot of money and I'm not using it for anything. Let's drop the income, boys. All this money that we have is useless. Let's cancel one of them to speed up the other two. Yeah, we're making a lot of money through the generators, man. These things are insane. Uh, now let's get a laser beam. And let the wall drop in front of it the moment it spawns. Actually, that's not gonna happen. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Let's get a laser beam here. A pushback generator, that's what we're gonna do. Pushback generator first. Am I in any rush? I don't think I'm in any rush. Yeah, that's there. And now a laser beam here. And now a wall here. And then two laser laser cutters. And we're done. Like one laser cutter here, and one laser cutter here, and, and that's it. We're done. I'm sure actually I should set up more things though. I'm still believing that we're making it harder for ourselves. We get more resources. While I don't need to do that. Yeah, this pretty much... We're good. We good, man. This gonna take a while. Might as well set up some money here in the very front line. Like... Here, I guess. This wall is useless. And here, too. And here, too. I think this is gonna kill my range. Yep. Doesn't matter, these still function anyway. Immortal is here. So that means I need to actually set up range. Yep. That's gonna easily be achieved by immortal walls, by the way. <laughs> and guess what? Immortal walls are good at extending range. When the infinite wave arrives, and then we're gonna have issues. You guys can just level up. These guys are still making money, by the way. That's why I have, like, so much money. Boom, 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 immortal. Yeah, you do you, man. You do you. I'm just gonna wait for the game to end. Uh, you're also not really needed. Blue up. Immortal. Literally immortal. Do -do 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 -do. Level up. Set up another wall. I guess I'm forced on this one. Yep, can I upgrade this? Yes. Oop, do -do -do -do. Uh, just set up walls and walls and walls. Wait, 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 wait. I don't wanna win. Oh no. No. Drop that, please. Drop this one too. Kill my signal, kill my signal. Okay, now I want to win. No, don't kill my signal. <laughs> ah, we're winning in 35. Because when immortals uh, begin, then you no longer can... Um, when infinite waves begin, you can no longer actually um, get income from these. And I think now I don't need to set these up ever again. I think now I have achieved the infinite. I don't know how much money we're getting here. Yeah, six coins. Plus hopefully another one. Hopefully I got everything now. Six still. It's okay. I think we're at the final fight. So now... Now... I'm gonna get the, the laser maintains its speed while switching. That's a definite in my book. I get the pre-upgraded coils for three, which I should have done previously. Pretty much somebody should be screaming on the screen. Vision targets are rolling to me. Pre-upgraded coils, by the way, means that they come pre-upgraded with attack speed. So uh, yeah, that's insane. That means more money. Uh, let's go with laser cutters. Pre-upgraded, of course, because I always use them. And also global. 
And now we have only one choice left, either the coils. No, that's not even a choice. Yeah, I mean, we literally have one choice. I wanted to do a joke there, but I failed. Stun duration on the wave tower. Or choose to, they provide shielding. I don't want them to provide shielding. I want them to be pushing opponents back into laser blades. And I think this is the final fight. No, it's not. Okay. Station takes one damage every second. You don't do anything. That's very dangerous for us. No, station generates energy slower. Development mission three and two. Development is really good for us. Advanced tactics. Gain energy from enemy killed at distance seven or more. Perfect. Building cost five. We were going with this. Thrusters. Significantly reduce the time it takes for building plan. This is also really good. But I'm going to go with get energy from kills from far away because I got global. Um, yeah, we got global laser cutters. So now I'm going to put everything forward as there is no reason whatsoever anymore to play back uh, as I'm not going to be placing more matter generators. I'm done with them. I don't need to upgrade anything else. I mean, I could upgrade the wave generator, but I don't think it really matters. I think we're good with what we are, how we are. Uh, I would like to set up these things, honestly. Yeah, let's put up a wall. I think the wall is always a safe choice. And I do believe we're making so much money from the coils right now that just a bunch of coils would be better. Although, fact of the matter is, I'm also going to need to set up some focus towers. Yeah, just make money out of these. Yeah, we're making a lot of money out of these. I'm going to set up money in the very back. Yeah, set up money in the very back. They should get upgraded, otherwise we lose. Yep, don't kill my charge, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, I guess not. Let's get the laser beam going. I don't think the wave generator is going to be able to push anything. I think this was a mistake. Eh, whatever. We are 100% immune to everything anyway. Uh, let's get laser cutters going, which are global now. So these should just set up down here. Now we're going to see these make money. This definitely should be upgraded next. And these should be upgraded next. You should now become immune. And I just set up a bunch of walls. This 60% attack speed and 15% what? That's insane. Yeah, just drop a bunch of these. Just money now. Money, money, money. And laser beams, laser beams, laser beams. And upgrade everything and it's over. It's over. Let's create the super first one. Let's create the poison one first and then anything else. Yeah, we're super rich. It's super over. Because now I can just set up laser towers. Double and triple laser towers with, which, with insane range. And then just look at the money come in. Oh no, a bunch of small opponents. What shall we do? What shall we do? What shall we do? Oh, that was a miss. Oh, one opponent actually went through. Nice. Five. Five, 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 building, building, look at my money, look at my money, build them faster please, boom, and boom, and please upgrade all of these, da, 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 da. Oh, I don't have money to upgrade, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, laser beam, laser beam, let's first extend the range, <laughs> that's what's happening, this is stupid, this is stupid, we're over, it's over. Yeah, I mean, uh, just for uh, just for good measure. Let's also get the, my monkeys going. Which I don't even want, even want to get more of these. Let's make everything super upgraded. I'm going for monkeys. Might as well go get a yellow resource. Oh no, opponents are coming in. Oh no, my immortal walls are gonna drop. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're literally immortal. We are literally immortal and without even pushback. Oh, maybe we're not immortal. I'm seeing opponents being able to get through the swords. And then the laser beams arrived. And then everything just melted. Yep. Yep. Just chilling and waiting for the wave to go through. Hey, look, a bunch of small opponents done to do anything. And we're done. It's over. Look at this. Uh, 21, 21, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, and we got some resources at the end there.
two white ones and gain energy from killing opponents off screen, which is going to be the laser beams there. It's going to give us a bunch of free money. So let's see what the trades are. Focus tower, attack speed grows faster at higher range. That's actually really good. That's literally what we're playing. After every six orders, next one will be free. Insane. Coils charge can't go to zero. So this is a bunch of money, right? And also damage. Uh, I mean, we have so much money. I don't think I need this. I think we're going to go with coils can't charge to zero because this is even more money money and even more money so that's the idea we have a bunch of coils in the background yeah that's what i'm gonna do a bunch of coils in the background and a bunch of laser beams in the front line uh we have uh, three white ones so i guess we go with aoe on the coils that's gonna be the early game no we're gonna go with max enemies to push and range on the pushback and then it makes things around the 20 percent faster yeah that's gonna be the thing so let's do that and i think we're done let's go fight the final boss Nice. So we're going to begin with just, I don't know, five quills or something. Yeah, that's, I think, what we're going to do. Just start with a bunch of quills. Uh, I would say here in the middle. So we have more wiggle room for the rest of the things. That's coming in. Double, whatever. Doesn't matter. I don't think we have the AoE quills, though. It's okay. We still have quills coming in fast. This one's going to be a wall. Oh, nice. Quills are going to survive that for sure. Just get coils rolling in. Just get coils rolling in. They make us so much money, man. It's insane. And I'm not even trying anything, is the thing. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. I think coil makes us almost more. Yeah, that thing just melted instantly. Should I do an only coils build? I can have like only coils in the very front line here. Until I'm done with my money. Yeah, I can just have coils in the very front line here. And then, and now I begin laser beams. Like, a bunch of quills here in the very, very front. No, I don't need that. This At the end of the day, this became a quill build. Uh, let's start building up the plasma towers now. Because let's not forget that Plasma Tower would give us money on kill far away. Hope that was a mistake. As you see, to me, it doesn't even matter what's happening. Look at how much money we have. It, it really doesn't matter what's happening. Let's get the Laser Beam Tower now. Here would be a good idea. Actually, no. Stop. I want it here. In front of the Coil Armada. The Quill cool Armada is even beating this thing. How stupid is that, man? The Coil Armada can kill anything right now. Is what I'm seeing. I don't need you. Uh, this is a bad spot. Yeah, the Quill cool Armada literally can beat everything right now. These guys are not gonna get through, man. The Coil Armada is here to electrify you to death. You try to hit the coils, you die from the coils. Now, this is gonna be the Laser Beam Armada here at the very back. Because the Coil Armada literally just beats the game anyway. It's over, man. It's only coils, and it actually works. Only curls actually works. Let's make one of these mega... Wow. I thought it was infinite upgrade. 78. 54 per pop. Yeah, I actually see it becoming super poor. Let's go. I actually was successful in that. I think all of these are connected. So I need to drop one tower there and we're done. I think all of these are connected. I would like to see the final boss fight against the coils, but at the same time, I would also like to see the boss, um, the laser beams fight against the final boss. So it's like, which of the two is more important to meme about? Hey, look, that guy hit our wall. Good on you, my dude. Good on you. Uh, I started believing I should just set up a million. Oh, these all are connected, actually. Yeah, these are, are actually hitting. 
we're losing coils. Well, look at that. Well, look at that. We're losing coils. Well, well, well. Yeah, that was that. Actually, we didn't lose a coil. Let's now get some walls going. I don't even need the laser beams anymore. Let's go here. Here. Infinite walls. Man, how does it happen that at the very final fight, I always just completely and naturally break the game? Well, before it's like panic here, panic there. But at least 2,000 energy. It says 2k. I just realized at the top left it says 2k. I just realized that. Let's go upgrade all of these. You can upgrade quickly with the U button, by the way. And now we're just waiting for the final boss, man. I don't think the quills are made for this, though. So I would like to just request a laser beam assistance here, just to be sure that we're super safe and we're not going to randomly die. Let's go like that. Here. Whoop, that was a miss. No, that's okay. And I would say one here. Yeah, not here. Here. I think we're good. Let's see if the boss actually survived this or not. Did I? What, what happened here? That doesn't matter at the end of the day. I have enough lasers to win this. These are enough lasers to win. Four lasers are winning. Right now we're just doing damage with the swords on the ground. So is the boss gonna hit, get hit by the coils? Is that a thing that happens? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Uh, we have 3k money, so uh, might as well meme it up here. Re. Boom. Actually, let's set this up better. I don't know how this was set up. Yeah, I don't know what we have set up here. While the boss is trying to get through, I'm just gonna reorganize. I'm just reorganizing. Reorganize, as we used to say in Backpack Battles. Who's not even gonna get through the coils, man? It's just not- Oh, the first laser has activated. The first laser has activated, and you see the difference here. Wah. And then you can also see the coil damage when they hit it. Boom, that was the coil damage right there. And it's dead. <laughs> okay, coils only was actually insane. So I guess the thumbnail is correct. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, come on. Uh, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I don't know what the reward is we want here. The game, by the way, is an early axe, I think. So most likely there will be more of this. Although, although, I think we are hitting endgame anyway. So I don't think it makes sense for there to be more of this. I think what they should do is add more classes or more things. Everything is unlocked. Discover new artifacts to unlock new loadout, station, or starting bonuses. Not right now. Yeah, right now the game is like, you have already unlocked everything, my boy. So yeah, I guess they are... Thinking about loadout station and starting bonuses. To add to the game, I mean, starting bonuses, they already have all three of them. You either begin with health, money, or relic. Obviously, relic is always the choice. Right now, there are only two loadouts and two stations. Now, if you want to see more of this, then comment down below, drop a like, and subscribe, because that's the only way that YouTube is going to pick up on this. And then maybe, if you want to, I'm going to do a federation run with a teleporter, and then maybe an alliance run with a teleporter. I really prefer playing on Captain, honestly. Yeah, I do know that the final boss fight is a joke and we destroy it, and maybe we should have been Star-Lord, because the difference does not seem to be that much, like 5% slower enemies delay, 100%, it's almost the exact same thing, like, the, the enemy spawn delay just means to set up your builds a little bit more in the back. Also, the fact of the matter is the following, I'm like, oh, we are breaking the game and whatnot with money, but the thing is that the other things I'm never choosing... Right? The, the laser beam or whatever, the Tesla quill that happened to appear. I think those things are very powerful. And the idea is that you either go with the matter generator and invest everything into the starting build of the class you're going with. Or you pick up one of those broken things and then you invest your upgrades, the rest of the upgrades into that. I think it's like a build changing idea. Like my, I mean, the fa fact of the matter is the following too. Like after I beat the first fight... The build did change. My build did change into an economy build, and then I become a broken thing. So maybe I should try a run where I'm trying to not get the matter generator and try to go for a laser beam or something that's completely busted and awesome. And then we invest all our resources into that and we completely 130 switch the build and it's like walls plus laser beam or walls plus death ray or whatnot. Um, so maybe that is the play. Maybe the play is not to uh, always go with matter generator and the base default units and maybe go with the non-default units. Anyway, uh, as I said, likes and subscribes help so that we can get this off the ground. And if this uh, game gets traction, I will play more of it. 
if I see that people don't enjoy this, then I will stop here. Maybe I'm gonna play one more time just to showcase your run or something. I don't know. I really enjoy the game, so I'm playing for myself too. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.